15 years ago today, millions of gallons of water drained from Lake Delton when flooding collapsed the border and leaked into the Wisconsin River. NBC 15's Marcus Arsvold spoke to business owners who remember that day vividly. When the lake was all of a sudden gone, you know, I kind of felt like I lost my best friend. Steve Zowen owns Dell's Water Sports, where they sell canoes, fishing boats, and pontoons, some of which were destroyed when Lake Delton drained. I was on the lake the morning of when the breach happened, and I was towing that upside down pontoon boat over to our launch where we could get recovered. But uh, we had to cut it loose as the lake was going down fast. Since then, Zowen's business recovered and even expanded, but he'll always remember being on the water as it went down. All of a sudden, I'm bumping bottom, the boat's bumping bottom. I'm like, we've, we've got to get out of here. Village of Delton board member Tom Deal remembers standing on his friend's driveway before the sand underneath gave out and the house completely washed away. They said, we have to get off of this because it's not going to be here much longer. You saw that old footage of homes falling into the water. Well, now this is what that land looks like now. And the homes have been taken out and it's been replaced by public benches. Mr. Deal says that the owners of those homes were kind enough to sell their land and work with state agencies so they could remediate their property quickly. A lot of good things came out of a bad situation. And so that's got to look positive about it. All this, the point source pollution where runoff was coming into the lake that, you know, filling it with sedimentation, we fixed all of those. 15 years later, both Deal and Zowen say the community did its best to recover. In Lake Delton, Marcus Arsvold, NBC 15 News.